Hey guys, I hope that everybody is doing well. I just wanted to do a quick video just to encourage you guys, just to encourage you guys to keep going. Do not give up. You know, the Lord has just brought so many things to remembrance to my mind. Think about Genesis 22 when Abraham was going to have to sacrifice his only son, um, Isaac. You know, the promise, the promised son. He, you know, at uh, Mount Moriah, he was going to sacrifice him because he trusted the Lord. So much so that he trusted him with his one son to go up there and to sacrifice him. So I just want to encourage you guys today to trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding of things. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your crooked path straight. We've got to keep trusting, guys. We've got to keep hoping in Jesus. We've got to keep looking up because our blessed hope is coming. Jesus is coming. He is coming so soon. Think about the Red Sea moment. Think about when the Israelites, you know, the Egyptian chariots and the armies were coming up against them and were about to overtake them. And the Lord split the Red Sea and made a way for them to cross. Guys, he's going to make a way. He's going to make a way for us. He's going to rescue us. Jesus is our rescue story. And he is coming so soon. I've had so many more confirmations about the last few dreams that I have shared. I've had a couple more dreams. And uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing about those. But um, I was reminded in my last dream, I was uh, standing um, in this place and I was talking about a farm and this guy comes out and he starts talking to me about corn and you guys as you know I've had the dream about the field and the farm equipment that had MOG on it which means depart and that was showing me the harvest and I found out that on August 22nd of 2021 there is a corn moon like who knew Guys, there's like so many things that are happening. God is showing us so many things. The Lord is pouring out his spirit. I mean, it says in the last days, it says in the last days in Acts and in Joel, it says that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. You know, men will dream dreams, you know, people of, you know, men and women, sons and daughters have visions, you know, and, and he's doing that, guys. He is doing that. And it's just amazing. What a wonderful time to live. I know it's hard. Listen, there is not a day that goes by that the devil is not trying to steal, kill, and destroy. But that's why we have to be armed and ready, you guys. Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6 tells us that we have to be armed with the full armor of God, okay? The helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, our feet fitted with the peace of the gospel. We have to have our sword, which is the word of God and our shield of faith that destroys every fiery dart of the enemy. He is coming. Yes, the, the, the devil, the devil tries everything that he can to get us down. He is, he is been trying to, um, you know, trying to get us to quit. He's trying to get us to doubt. He's trying to, to um, cause all kinds of things in our lives. But that's why we have to be armed up and ready, you guys. We have to be ready and know the devices of the enemy. And also it says to, you know, in Ephesians 6, it talks about how we need to be praying too and praying in the spirit. We need to be praying and we need to be armed and ready because even though the enemy comes, he has no authority over us. We have the power and authority inside of us. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us, the same power and authority. We have the same power that raised Christ from the dead inside of us. That's Romans 8 and 11. The same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us. When you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, that's powerful, right? So I just want to encourage you guys to keep looking up, keep watching, keep waiting, keep praying for people to be saved, keep praying for your lost loved ones. We all have them. Um, and don't give up. Do not listen to the lies of the enemy. And when the enemy comes, pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and never stop praying. And, and like I said, arm up and be ready. 
Um, I know the days are weary. I know it's frustrating. I have been there also. And like I said, the enemy is trying at everything to get us to quit and to not believe that Jesus is coming. And that's a lie from the pits of hell. You have to rebuke the enemy. You know, we are allowed to um, to take control of the of the uh, the things of our mind. We are to transform and renew our mind in Christ every single day. And we're also supposed to set our minds on things above instead of things that are going on around us. So I just want to encourage you guys today to keep going. Um, I'm praying for you guys. If you would like to leave your prayer requests below, I will take time and pray for each one. I promise you that. I want you to have a lovely and a blessed day. Keep looking up because Jesus is coming. He's coming, you guys. And he has been showing us so many things. So many things. Um, we don't know or I don't know when the rapture is going to be, but I know that it's near. I know that it's so near. There's so many things going on in this world that just, they add up. And Bible prophecy is just flying off. I mean, I can't even keep keep up anymore. There's so much stuff going on. But I hope you guys are blessed and encouraged. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.